All right, guys, so uh, I'm getting ready to record um, a video showing some pretty cool VXLAN. Uh, let me say that one more time. VXLAN. There we go. Features that you can do with the CSR1000V. I was going to do it all within Cisco, Cisco's viral product, but I'm having issues with multicast forwarding, which kind of screws up some of the flood and learn behavior of VXLAN. Actually, it doesn't screw up some of the flood and learn behavior so much as it, it screws up all of the flood and learn behavior of VXLAN. So you can't really do it in viral right now. Um, I posted the question out on the community forums and hopefully someone can get on that because I'm not going to look at it. I got better things to do. Um, that being said, uh, you can do it with GNS3 and um, by putting a CSR 1000V in a virtual box, then using the virtual box integration, GNS3, and then we can build our lab that way. Um, so to do that, uh, I'm going to just show you how to get the CSR 1000V into uh, virtual box first and what settings you want. And then I'll probably do the VXLAN video separate because it'll be it's better to have that just that video focused on VXLAN and this one just focused on getting a CSR 1000V into virtual box and then into GNS3. So all we have to do is first we're going to go to the new. Uh, I'm going to name it CSR 1KV-3 because for the lab that I'm doing I'm going to have four CSRs. Uh, we're going to set type as Linux. So we'll scroll down to other Linux 64-bit. Go over. Um, you can technically, technically get away with two and a half gigs of RAM now. Uh, I'm just going to do four gigs at 4096. I'll create the virtual hard disk now. Eight gig is just fine. Dynamically allocated is just fine. That name's just fine. So that's the basic settings that we have to kind of go back in. We want to give it a serial port and we'll set it as COM1. You can leave it disconnected for now. That's okay. Uh, you don't have to define the network adapters. GNS3 is going to handle that for us. And I think everything else is okay except for storage. This is how you actually install the software in your uh, virtual box. Um, you want to download this ISO file. And I'll try and leave the actual name in the description. It doesn't have to be this specific one, but you want to go to Cisco's website, go to downloads, go to CSR1000V. And actually, we can just do that. Let me just show you where it's at. So we'll go to cisco.com under support. We're going to go to all downloads. Wait for that to load. And then you can usually just type in search CSR. And then you want the cloud services router 1000V. We'll click on that. I'm actually going to make this text a little bit bigger. I know my display is insane. Then you want to go to iOS XE software. And they have a QCAL2 image, an OVA, a bin. You want the ISO and then download the ISO. Uh, I'm using this uh, 3.14.1s image, but depending upon when you watch this video, there might be a newer suggested image out. You're also welcome to go with the latest images too. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just using the 3.14. Uh, so then after you set that as the boot CD um, with your virtual box appliance, just press OK. Um, I'm going to double check my settings one time. Serial port is, use it as COM1. Why don't you save that? I don't trust you now. Quick pause while I figure out why I can't go to settings. Okay, that was weird. I just del I just deleted the VM and, and re-added it. It looks like it's okay now. Maybe I was just too fast. This little loading bar down here is taking its sweet time. Look at it go. Okay, cool. So serial ports, we're going to enable a serial port, but we'll leave it uh, disconnected. And let's go through really quick. Storage, set that. CD to be booting off that ISO image, and everything else should be okay. All right, so after that's set, you're just going to press start. And it'll boot off the ISO and automatically install um, iOS XE and your CSR image. 
into VirtualBox. I leave this as auto detect for the first run, um, just so we can get the setup going. And I'll show you how to change that before we go into GNS3. All right, so you'll see this load. There's no key that I have to enter or any commands that I have to do. It'll just go through this process here. You'll see a bunch of a bunch of um, prompts like this file system invalid and repair as it goes through its install process. And then it will reboot and boot into um, iOS XE. So I'll pause it until we get to that point. All right, it looks like iOS XE is loading. So we should be pretty close to wrapping this up. So we'll say we don't want to go into initial dialogue. Blazing speed. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, well, we'll wait for all the prompts to go by. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you done? Okay. So. Uh, before you integrate this into VirtualBox, the last thing that I would recommend doing, go into global config, type platform, console is serial. Um, and then I'll show you how to tell uh, GNS3 to connect to serial port. And then you don't have to try and do all your configs uh, through this, uh, through VirtualBox's interface. So platform, console, serial, we'll end, we'll write. And then we're all set. I can actually power this down now. So I'm going to power this down. I'm going to install my fourth CSR, and then I'll come back and show you how to bring those into GNS3. Actually, one little note while this is installing. The lab that I'm going to do, each of these CSRs is going to have five active interfaces, which means I need 20 VirtualBox adapters to accommodate that, because GNS3 actually borrows your VirtualBox adapters. Um, to make these labs work. So in order to do that, uh, just go to Preferences under File within VirtualBox Manager. And I've actually already added the adapters, so it's going a little bit slow. Go to Network, go to Host Only Networks, and then you can click this little Add sign as many times as you need to create all the virtual adapters that your heart desires. As you can see, I have 20 in here, um, which makes my network adapters menu look hilarious it's like bam so just a little note there um you need to have a virtual box adapter host only adapter for each um, individual interface for each csr that you're going to have so again i have four that are going to have five interfaces each means i need 20 host only adapters all right so i have my four csrs here they're all created I'm going to close out that and open up GNS3. And then to bring those CSRs in, we're going to go to Edit, then Preferences, VirtualBox VMs. We're going to click New. Please wait. Okay. So I'm going to bring in CSR3 first, click Finish. Click Edit, Enable Remote Console so that uh, we can actually connect to the serial port. Um, and then start VM in headless mode. That way that you, you don't get the virtual box prompt. So it gives you that window every time you start it up. Just makes it nice and clean. And we'll do the same thing to bring CSR4 in. Edit, Enable Remote Console, Start VM in headless mode. We'll click apply and then just demonstrate that it's working. I'll take CSR3, give that a second to connect, and CSR4. Oh, hold on a second. I actually did miss one, I missed one step, so let's delete these. Go to Edit, Preferences. I didn't give it enough interfaces. So this guy is going to have five interfaces. I'm going to, I check this box for Allow GNS3 to use any configured VirtualBox adapter. Um, 
I don't know that you have to check that. I just do. Got a network on our CSR3. Do the same thing, giving it five adapters, and I'm going to tell it to allow GNS3 to use any configured virtual box adapter. Again, the checkbox, I don't know if you need to do that or not. All right, so we'll take CSR3. CSR4, we will connect them, and let's start them up, see what happens. All right, so they're started up. I should be able to double click on it and get a console for both. Uh, I'm just gonna boot into packages.conf. I'm not gonna do the gold image or anything. So you don't have to watch these boot. I'm just going to pause it until they come up. It usually takes, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. Okay, looks like they just finished booting. I'm going to go to R4 first. Just give it an IP address. Uh, 34.4. Go to 3, give it a host name of R3, and let's do line con, con 0. Log into sync. Well, no shut gig 1. We'll say IP address is 192.168.34.3. Showing up, up. Let's try and ping R4. And it's successful. You. So IP ARP on this side, you can see they're communicating over gig one and everyone's happy. So that's how we get a CSR 1000V into GNS3. The next video will be, and actually just so you guys can see all this stuff, I forgot how tiny the font shows up. In the next video, I'll show off um, some VXLAN configuration and using a CSR 1000V as a VXLAN bridge. So that's all for now. I hope this was helpful.